Yeah, man. Well, here it is. It's just a mock-up, but it's almost done. Wow. I think it's beautiful. It's just like I dreamt of it. Like it's always been here. Like it always existed. Let's get the prototypes into production right away. That's what I'm hoping is happening at the NVIDIA Labs as they're working on the new design for the NVIDIA Shield. If we get a new refresh shield, I want to talk about the possibilities on what would be included, especially the pro version. There have been many tech advancements since 2019 that I think should be included. Like many of you, I love my Shield devices. While it's not perfect, it's the best streaming device out there that fits my needs. I love how smooth all my apps run and being able to siloed apps is just awesome. I have a couple of videos on the possibility of a new Shield TV device coming out by the end of this year or the beginning of next. If you want to check those videos out, visit our channel to access them. Remember, this is just what makes sense from my research and from my personal experience. If you don't know, NVIDIA is now a trillion dollar company thanks to them making the chip for ChatGPT, which as we all know, everyone is using to do all sorts of crazy things. I won't even lie, I used it to compose an email that got me a price reduction when working with a vendor at my job. Anyhow, the first thing we can expect is a superior CPU than in the 2019 version, which was also used by Nintendo Switch devices. If Nvidia was able to do awesome things in 2019, like AI upscaling, just imagine with their new chip, what they can do for streaming and upscaling in 2023 or 2024. When 720p resolution was out, everyone said 1080p wasn't needed. And when 4K came out, everyone said 1080p was enough. Now that 8K is available, the same thing might be happening where 8K will be highly adapted. Especially those of us that use Plex would be able to run them no problem. 8K is inevitable. And if a new shield comes out, it would make sense to support it. Of course, it would be required to have an updated HDMI 2.1 support so it can handle 8K 60Hz and 4K 120Hz. Other useful features could be Ultra 21.9 support, so those aspect ratio videos are not trapped in a 16.9 format. This last one I received from Reddit after asking what features you want to see in the new Shield. With all those new extra features, you would sure benefit having a faster network port. I believe if they give us a 10 gig network port, it would be beneficial to be able to throw everything we have at it. And if you're like me, you like to have everything wired so you can have the fastest streaming possible. Of course, you would need to upgrade your local network devices such as your switches, routers, and even your network attached devices. But many of us already have these in place, so it would be a great addition. And don't tell me it's not needed. I remember when 100 Mbps was the fastest internet and everybody would say one gig is overkill and now everybody's taking advantage of one gig. When it comes to Wi-Fi at a minimum, the new Shield would bring the new Wi-Fi 6, but there's also Wi-Fi 6E, which can now offer an additional band at six gigahertz. This upgrade is a no brainer and even with Wi-Fi 6, it would be much more improved than the previous generations. It would be great having at least eight gigs of RAM and for storage, we could have 256 gigs SSDs and even options for 512 or one terabyte if you pay more. I think that's reasonable since storage prices are way cheaper than they were back in 2019. Another great thing that we could take advantage of is giving us the ability to upgrade the internal storage. They could give us a smaller amount and many of us would upgrade the storage and RAM ourselves without hesitation. While the Shield can play many codecs, one annoyance is that it cannot play HDR within apps like YouTube. Even a cheap TCL TV I bought that brings Android TV and it can play HDR in its YouTube app. It should also support the AV1 codec, which might be the last missing piece. The remote in the Shield has some issues with its 
ugly Netflix button that not everyone uses. Or as one person responded to my Reddit post, no f Netflix button. At the very least, allow us to change the function so it does something else. But personally, I hate how we have to see the Netflix logo, just take it off. I would also love to see the lag issue with the remote where sometimes it takes forever to take the device up from sleeping. Fix simple things like that and you should have a winner. While all those things are really nice and it will add up the price for sure, but I would be happy to pay more for an ultra edition of the shield. Heck, there's an idea right there. Do a regular shield, a shield pro, and a shield ultra for those of us that are a little crazy. Pricing would be $200, $300, and $500 or something along those lines. I hope NVIDIA lets us know soon and we get good news that there's a new shield coming out. AMD is pushing back with the release of their new AI chips, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found some good valuable information. Give it a like so I know I did a good job on the video and so it can spread to more people. If you enjoy videos like these, don't be afraid to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, Ultratech out.